Hey guys, what is up? Tim here, and today I'm going to show you how to yeah, basically frame blend with Adobe After Effects and make it basically make your DSLR uh, 60 frames per second shot look as if it's shot with almost like a high speed camera or a really end slow motion camera. So a really high end slow motion camera. So the first thing you're going to do is have your clip. Uh, you got to make sure that the clip is in uh, 60 frames per second or greater. Um, this really won't work unless you have a 60 frames per second camera. Um, you can s change it within your internal settings uh, on my Canon T3i. You can go into settings um, while you're in, well, once you're in video mode, you can go into menu uh, and then you can scroll to the right and change your uh, setting to uh, I think it's 1280 by 720, uh, which obviously increases the resolution size of the video but increases the frames per second to 60, which is the target frames per second that we need. Now, here is the clip. Uh, this is the clip that I took. <laughs> and uh, that is of my little brother uh, doing that, whatever that is. And uh, so what we're going to do with that clip is first we're going to open it up in Adobe After Effects CS5. And uh, once Adobe After Effects opens up, I'll show you the next step. And uh, uh, basically what this process is going to do is fill in the frames that we're missing um, when... Uh, uh, when I shot the clip, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that in a second. Alright, now that After Effects is opened up and ready to go, we can just click OK, and uh, our project is over here. Now we're just going to add this to the uh, composition tab over here to make a new composition. Now that our composition is made, we're just going to change the composition time to, I like to just put it around uh, 22 seconds. Um, we can change that obviously later, but um, 22 seconds usually is a good starting. And uh, so obviously we can see our clip here. Um, do whatever you want to. You can clip it or whatever, um, but that's not what we're going to do right now. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to layer and we're going to go to time, and we're going to go to time stretch, and we're going to change the stretch factor to, let's say, we'll go 250, yeah, I guess we can go 250, and uh, that will make the clip in slow motion. Now, obviously, it looks very, very choppy, and we don't want that. Um, what we're going to do to uh, compensate for this is we are going to change uh, the uh, we're going to blend frames. So to do that, we can enable frame blending. And we can go to layer, then we can go to time, and then we can go to uh, Actually, scratch that. We're going to go to frame blending, and then we're going 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 to pixel motion, and now that will compensate for that uh, for the frames that are in between. And once we render it out, we can see that that looks pretty good, actually. And so once that's done, uh, you can see obviously the preview uh, looks pretty good. Um, obviously, it is pretty, still pretty fast, but we can actually slow it down a little bit more by just going to uh, effect or actually layer. And then we can go to time, uh, time stretch, and we'll change it to I guess maybe a little 400, and we'll see how that looks. <laughs> that looks pretty crazy if you ask me, and uh, we are going to then, well once we're happy with the finished product, uh, we can then go to composition, and then we can go to add to render queue, and we can change our settings to make it just go whatever it is, uh, um, we're going to tut test, test, well test, and then we're going to make a save, and then just click render, and it will render out each individual frame. Now once that's done rendering, uh, you'll just have this uh, this image or this video, I guess, on your desktop, and it'll look pretty darn cool, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when I'm done rendering. Alright guys, so it is just about to finish rendering, and there it is, it just finished. 
And we're going to go to quit After Effects, and then we're just going to not even save it, because we don't even really need to worry about that, unless you really want to edit it later. But we're going to quit from there, and we're going to quit out of that. And we're going to see our final uh, uh, product, which is right here. Um, now, the thing with this is that uh, QuickTime is often very laggy when it's playing back clips that are in slow motion. But it actually did a pretty good job right there. You can see it, it's in slow motion. Um, so it looks pretty good, and the it was a success, and so we did a pretty good job of that, guys, and I really hope I taught you guys something. If I did, please leave me a like or a comment or something, do something, uh, maybe subscribe, I don't know, but if you enjoyed it, uh, please let me know, and uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been Tim, and I'm out. Peace.